Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a shaky RGB glitch effect easy in After Effects, let's begin. First let's duplicate the clip 3 times, then make sure to rename them in order, red, green and blue. Select red and apply shift channels effect. Now turn off green and blue colors, we need only the red one here. Let's do the same on a green layer, apply shift channels and this time turn off blue and red. Do the same on a blue layer, just make sure to leave the blue here. Once you are done, select those layers and then click on toggle switches slash modes and change blending modes to screen. Let's select the red layer and slightly offset it. Just press right arrow on your keyboard two times. Select blue and press left arrow three times. Leave the green centered, we don't need to move it anywhere. Now create a new solid layer. I will rename it to lines and then hit OK. Move lines layer above other layers and then apply a Venetian blinds effect on it. Change lines blending mode to overlay and then change transition completion to 80%. Change direction to 90 degrees. Change width to 4. Now apply a turbulent displace effect. Hold alt on your keyboard and click on evolution stopwatch icon. In the expression down here, type, time asterisk 300. Let's quickly check it. It has animated those lines and looks really cool. Now create a new adjustment layer. Apply exposure effect on it. Scroll to the beginning of an adjustment layer and then click on exposure stopwatch icon. Let's scroll 3 frames forward and then change exposure to 25. Scroll 3 frames forward again and change exposure back to 0. Now press U on a keyboard and copy those created keyframes and paste where you want flashing effect to be. Let's quickly check it. Looks fine. Just make sure to paste as much as you wish and where you wish. Now select your original clip and press P on a keyboard. Hold Alt on a keyboard and click on position stopwatch icon. In the expression type, wiggle 8, 8. That will add random shake. First number controls the frequency and another one intensity. So in case 8, 8 seems not good to you, make sure to take your time and change values on your wish. Let's check it. In my case it looks fine. Another cool thing what we can do is a zoom in effect once flashing hits. Let's create a null object. Move it above all other layers and then we have to parent layers to a null. Select all layers, then use the pick whip and drag them to the null object. Now select null and press S on a keyboard. Let's scroll to the exposures keyframe where it's at 25 and then toggle off adjustment layer so we can see the video clearly. Now under the null layer, increase the scale until it's enough for you and then click on scale stopwatch icon. Now scroll where the first exposure keyframe is with the zero value and change scale to 100%. Let's quickly check the zoom in effect. Looks fine, but also let's enable motion blur on all layers. Now we can toggle on adjustment layer and then check the effect one more time. Looks really cool, it will also look good if you make a transition from the clip to another. To make things a lot better, I will add a shake effect, I will use one from my shakes pack. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.